A very good morning to you. It's Thursday the 21st of March and as you can see we are still in Aqua Vista Marina uh, here in Hinkley but we're just about to go. We've had a lovely stop here. It was lovely to meet Sammy the new manageress here at uh, the Aqua Vista Marina. Uh, she's gonna settle in lovely. She came from the uh, marina in Nottingham. So welcome Sammy and thank you for your hospitality and of course Simon uh, the harbour master here. It was great to see you again, mate. We've popped in and out of here a few times, so thank you very, very much for all your help. And uh, yeah, we're going to see you at Crick, of course, because this is coming off on the 25th of March, one o'clock, in the Aqua Vista Tillers and Tankards tent. Please donate. Right, we're ready to leave. We're leaving the marina in about five minutes' time. Uh, it's a bit windy. We've got the Watsis on Silver Fox. They're just getting their canopy down. They're stopping for fuel and to fill up with water and they're gonna come and moor up wherever we moor up. Here we go again. Well, I've got hold of the stern line and the wind is taking chugs out quite nicely on its own. Yeah, the wind's getting up a bit. We've loved it at the Aqua Vista uh, Waterside and Marina here in Hinkley. You do have everything as we've said. There's a KFC, a Subway, uh, an excellent marina with everything you need and a fantastic pub next door. The food is very reasonable. It is what it is there. It's a brewer's fair. You get what you pay for and the kids have enjoyed it with the play area there. But now, yeah, we're heading off the Ashby. And eventually, just for this little trip, well, not today, but for this little trip, head into Coventry. Yeah, the kids loved it in there, didn't they, darling? Yeah. We'll be back in the autumn. We're not really sad about leaving the Ashby. That sounds awful. Uh, we're not sad because we know we're coming back. We've absolutely loved it. Uh, my personal favorite, I think, was Shackerston. I love Shackerston. What about you, darling? Um, I like Shackerston, I like Shenton as well. Yeah. Ambient Woods was lovely. Ambient, yeah. I think the favorite more in Ambient Woods. Yeah, definitely. Um, Pauline and Derek actually spotted and videoed a month jack deer yesterday coming through Ambien Woods. I think it was Ambien Woods. I can't remember. It was not far from there, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and we heard owl and we heard the deer there. But Shackleston was great. Shackleston, not Shackleston. Shackleston was great because uh, we did the steam train and we had lovely bacon sandwiches. Yeah, <laughs> we did. It was nice. <laughs>
we've just gone under bridge 8 back there um, and we were planning on mooring up under bridge 7 the way we're going but we're having a lovely cruise it's cold it's a bit breezy but we're really enjoying it it's dry and there's uh, rain and drizzle forecast tomorrow so the more we do today the less we've got to do tomorrow so Nikki just called Pauline and Derek and they're happy to keep going a bit we may even go off the Ashby Canal today uh, we're quite happy to keep going we're really enjoying it it's nice to see the colors of spring just coming in it's uh, it's very nice towpaths though do leave a lot to be desired <laughs> look at that would you want to walk six dogs on that It's quite a narrow cutting through here as you head towards Bridge 5 and you can actually see some of the rocks uh, under the towpath. A lot of it's given way over the years and the CRT have done quite a bit of work down here uh, strengthening it but uh, yeah, nice place to have your little holiday home just above the canal here. Nicky's just put a lovely piece of wood on the fire. It's a lovely smell when you're on the back of the boat. You can just see a little bit of smoke coming out the chimney now. Oh, that's lovely. Well, we're carrying on through Marsden Junction. We've just gone under Bridge 3. But a sign of spring is just in front of the boat. Take a look at this beautiful blossom. That is huge. Absolutely gorgeous.
we're just approaching now the narrowing here just at the junction where there used to be a stop lock so you can pay your money for going on the uh, Coventry and for turning up the Ashby stop lock has long gone We are back on the Coventry, loads of more in here and lovely towpath uh, and it would be ideal and we have stopped here before but it's such a lovely day we're wondering whether to just carry on down to Hawkesbury Junction or Sutton Stop is the official name. Uh, I think we're going to carry on for now, it's lovely, we're really enjoying it today. I think I've just seen the matching chair. It's amazing what you see on the towpath. Well, there's the other chair, and you can throw in a bath with it. Dear me. There's an old sunken boat here by Charity Wharf. Don't know the history of it, but it is a very old one. And here is Charity Wharf. Lots of old boats here and oddities. Always interesting to go past. It really is a strange place. Every time we go past there, you see something else. There's like sunken boats everywhere. And yeah, very, very weird, but it's always nice. Nice to see curiosities, I suppose.
We're cold, but we're moored up at Hawkesbury Junction or Sutton Stop. Straight on down there takes us to Coventry to the basin and that's where we're going to go perhaps on Monday. Uh, if you go round and back on yourself it brings you round on the North Oxford which was the original way we were going to be going down to Crick but unfortunately, obviously, we can't because of the landslide at Brinklow. But we do have a bit of a time to spare so we may have a little bit of a, a ride down there. We'll see. But that's us for the day. <sighs> Coffee needed. See you later, folks. Mm -hmm.